Hello. I looked at the TV and saw Wes calculating mana reservation for aura totems, and he told me to turn around, so now I'm here. There is no camera because I feel and look like shit and because I haven't shaved, but that's okay. Because this is a retread anyway. We're gonna do this uh, Nigdra Union for the PSP thing. So already, <laughs> Things have opened up pretty considerably. It's still definitely intended for handheld, but larger screen and a little bit more resolution definitely gives it a slightly more uh, spacious feel. The arranged soundtrack is so far pretty inoffensive, and I'm pretty sure half the ISO of this game that I ripped from my legitimate copy of Victory Union from the PSP, by the way, is half of it is the animated intro, which is like 20 minutes long for no reason. It's also got voice work, including native dual audio, which is like, all right. <laughs> Separate toggles for uh, event and battle voices, which is pretty cute. And I guess we just thought to get started. Oh, this doesn't get voiced for some reason, though. Yeah, one thing, I, one thing I noticed right away is the voices, because there's apparently a decent amount of voice dialogue in this version, are During pretty heavily... Hey, buddy. Of Fantasinia, the new Bronchian Empire invaded. The royal army too quiet? I feel like this is too quiet, but battle noises are kind of loud. But with loss after loss to the Imperial Army's devastating offensive, the fortress of Corona fell. Nothing could stop Bronchia from sacking the royal capital of Paltina. I can't go much louder than this. Golcasa, the Emperor of Carnage, had deposed his predecessor by force and became Ooh, the new civilians. Emperor of Bronchia. Emperor Golcasa led his elite troops personally into Castle Poltina, where after an earth-shaking battle, he slew King Ordine. God, please. With that, YouTube to MP3 Poltina voiceover. Fell, and the Scarlet Imperial flag was raised to flutter in the twilight sky. So we're back to here again. Hopefully the audio levels will stay all right. This might get a little bit spiky. I noticed the audio mixing in this game is kind of wild, but hopefully it'll behave mostly. Yeah, so already feels a little more spacious, huh? And hey, decent resolution map the backgrounds. The southernmost tip of the continent is the land of Norn Valley. Although this barren land of rocky mountains and red earth is Fantasinia Kingdom territory, it has become a haunt for thieves. <laughs> Through this wasteland runs a girl. Okay, kicking up a the question marks are really face. good. So this saves me a little bit of trouble because my voice kind of feels like shit right now anyway, and so I don't have to read all the fucking text. Still does this, though. And it's still girl with sword, and oh boy, you are very emphatic. A dead end. She can't have gone far. Keep your eyes peeled. What now? If I don't do something, I'll be caught. Oh. All right. That's... Okay, it's not terrible. I'm not Except mad about it. Here. Didn't I see her run this way? What's wrong? Yeah, honestly, better Forgive than I expected. Me, we lost her trail around here. Are there any likely hiding places nearby? Yeah, she like that, 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 that in particular, to... that's like... This is really no worse than fucking 2B and Automata, and I didn't complain about that too much. All right, torch the place. We'll smoke her out. Yes, ma'am. Torch the place is way more powerful voiced, honestly. It's a question of what's less painful. 
fire or my sword. You're very excited hey, about this. What do you think you're doing? Hey, I got it pretty much right, huh? Huh? Who are you? Gecko says, That's I would exactly say the voices don't fit the character designs, me. but with these designs, what could? <laughs> yeah, right? It's the thieves that infest this dump. Are they allied with the scum who attacked us? <laughs> okay, Flunky. You've got some nerve burning down our home. Yeah, this is basically exactly what I expected. <laughs> hey, Chris. Hey, Hikari. We'll show you what we do to anyone who messes with us. Oh, boy. <laughs> He dropped the voice middle of that line and it was really good. Okay, holy shit. See, this is already so much better because some of the fucking... Like, there's still 20 different fonts and some of them are moving, but there's at least a little bit of space on the screen for stuff to breathe. And yeah, the voice work doesn't seem bad so far. Yeah, it's, things are considerably read, more readable. Not trying to do any uh, super, super low resolution GBA font. I forget what the PSP's native resolution actually is. Yeah, see, this is almost reasonable. So if I got a... Morale, equipment... Okay, and I can even page through like this. Dina says PSP native is 720, surprisingly. It's definitely not. It's not even. Yeah, Hikari's got it. 480 by 272. Also, nice XD, I guess. Alright, so. Still largely the same style of art. We gotta sort cards here. I noticed that they're using three columns for cards instead of two, but you can actually, like, kind of read the names of cards this time around, which helps a little bit. <laughs> what can a bunch of petty thieves do? You'll eat those words. <laughs> God, he's exactly what I expected. All right, so we've still got the fucking uh, text crawl noises for stuff like Tutorial Corner, which is, as far as I can tell, this is exactly the same. And so we get to show off the fucking dialogue auto advance feature. And if this was in the GBA version, I missed it completely. How nice. You guys all remember how this works, I'm sure. Totally. Unit swap stuff. How can I check? Oh well, we'll worry, we'll worry about it later. So I get tutorial corner again. Yeah, this all looks the same. My understanding is that there weren't very many uh, gameplay related changes made here, just a couple of. Um, I believe Twilly used the words blatantly unfair challenges, became less so. Hikari says, been playing Cold Steel 4 and I gotta say they seriously nailed the BGMs this time around. Even more so than the last entries, I'm still waiting on your in-depth review of that song I sent you. Oh boy. There's an item here. Yeah, those, the weird top bar stuff. Like I said, with a little room to breathe, it really ain't bad. Tool says, MVP bonus for this map is four turns. Shouldn't be so bad. Yeah, this looks... How, how can I get a uh, stat pop-up? Okay, so it's circle, which feels super weird. Check skills from here. I still fundamentally disagree with that way of showing experience, but hey. Yeah, the expanded stat screen here. Equip, nothing. Although the kerning makes it look a little bit more like no thing. 
I press square for union and yeah, the flow of this UI is still largely the same. That effect is weird as hell. So they expanded battles to uh, 8 and 4 instead of 6 and 3, presumably because the PSP isn't really constrained by sprite limit. And there's a little bit more expanded uh, text in some of the earlier combat tutorials explaining what the fuck is going on, which is nice. And there's also a fast forward option, as well as some uh, battle voices, obviously, which are going to get really funny when I start using that. And it speeds up fucking everything, too, even the uh, post-battle stuff. <laughs> Dead. So yeah, the sound design isn't nearly as abrasive as I thought it was going to be. Although, to be fair... Oh, hey. Nido. Appreciate that, Venice. 16 months. Thank you very much. We won, boss! Then it says, boop. Nice. Card list. Weapon types. Okay, this is still kind of fucked up to look at, but hey. There are no objects on the field. So you can redo uh, tutorial segments. So, largely the same, I think. It's just... with about double the pixels to work with. <sighs> Alright, so I'll save those 1350 cards for the commander, I guess. Kuro says, speaking of RPGs, I've been playing the crap out of CrossCode, and it's been mind-blowingly fun for me, at least. I've been meaning to take a look at CrossCode. I was really, really excited about it ever since playing the demo, and I haven't looked at it at all during its early access period, because I don't want to get the wrong slice of it. But I'm... I'm pretty excited. Take our oh, should have picked the 1350. I bet it's gonna matter too. Next D. So these are still not voiced. Such impertinence. All right, here we go. <laughs> you bastard. Okay. Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered. Still think we're just a bunch of petty thieves? Well, fuck. Twill says, yeah, those pre-battle conversations are basically for every character. Yeah, then, makes sense. AI is still a little bit, a bit slow on those menu screens. Oh wow, I got trashed. Nice. Come on, Milanor. Let's go. Easy. Easy. This weirdly high fidelity flag animation is still here. What do you think of that, huh? Did somebody say loud easy? Easy. They're, they're stronger than we thought. A cursed thief. Withdraw the troops! We're pulling out! <laughs> the delivery on that makes me pretty happy. <laughs> God, so it counts both sides then. Winning turn six and it wanted four? The fuck do I have to do to get that? Okay. Anyway. Revolution. Strength infinity to all but head. Okay. Everyone's still standing. Come and gather around. <laughs> God, Milanor is exactly they what knew I expected. What they were doing. We lost a few men. Hmm? Hey, you in there? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Imagine being a voice actor just given the script that contains exclamation point question mark. I know you're hiding in there. It's safe to come out now. <laughs> Footstep noises. Hmm. You're a pretty one. What are you doing here? Not okay, Milanor. Isn't she a survivor for Dr. <laughs> Fortina? Every time he opens his goddamn mouth. So, those guys were from Bronchia's army? Please. I have nowhere else to turn. Okay. You are no. To defeat the empire. Okay, yeah, it's just a little bad. Our help, just eh? a little bit. Well, it won't come cheap. <laughs> I'll think about it if you give me that sword of yours. This sword is precious to me. I'll not part with it. But I can give you anything else. Name your price. What emotion Anything? is this supposed to be? Oh, that's a lot to offer. I like Milanor more and more every time he opens I his mouth because the voice actor was clearly Zidia. having so much fun. If you aid me, you have my word as royalty. Keek says every emotion. <laughs> hmm. All right. How about your castle? We need a new base, you see. Very well. Although right now it's being occupied by the Empire. We'll just have to steal it back from them, won't we? <laughs> okay, okay, it'll be out of my system <laughs> by the time we get caught up, but holy shit. I couldn't stay here even if the fort was still standing. We've already picked a fight with the Empire after all. <laughs> then, begging your pardon, Mr. See, that was almost human. Eleanor's the name. You've got a deal, princess. Thank you. Let's move out, everyone. Is that sword all you've got to defend yourself? You don't have anything else? Okay, the little sprites are really cute, actually. Eleanor's very concerned. Uh, I have these. Hey, cards. These will help. This is the first. Hey, Garnosa. The other is from the second cavalry. God, the sibilance is like grinding at my teeth. I wonder if you guys can hear it through the second layer of compression. They're from the knights who gave their lives for me. Then we'll make use of these against Bronchia. And yeah, Keeg's got me. He says the cards that the, the fact that the cards exist in reality fucks me up. Yeah, the fact that they're actual rest. objects. So, like, how do these work? Yes, I believe so too. I hear these cards hold an ancient power within them. I must borrow them. Oh, I'm sorry. Now. I'm. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> them can i make all of our wishes a reality hey wow that's so much louder than the video game amazing what the fuck was that 16 months from envy who says 16 months of bad fi bad financial choices anyway that's right nice <laughs> Nice work, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so we'll save here. I actually had to do a little bit of shenanigans to uh, get the save dialogue working. For anybody who's setting up uh, Libretro PPSSPP in the future, by the way, which is something I highly recommend because it plays a little bit nicer than standalone IMO, you want to make sure you grab the uh, assets folder from the official repo and just drop it into your system directory like it was a BIOS. There's some instructions for that on the wiki, I believe. <laughs> Rumia asks, is this a Toho spinoff? And Gecko's reply is, nah, the art's too good. <laughs> oh, Zon. Where you, you'll figure out how to draw a human face eventually. Melanor and his men were able to drive off the invaders who attacked their fort. In the process, they saved the ousted Princess Igdra from the Imperial Igdra, army, okay, it's the... Ensuring that from then on, their steps would be constantly Why noise? by the Imperial forces. <laughs> Melanor left the burnt husk of a fort and headed with Igdra to the Orlando Plains, where the royal Holy cavalry... Shit. Supposedly we got the words Orlando Plains said by a human. Connecting the Norn Valley and the Orlando Plains, mercenaries working for the Empire lay in wait for Milanor's gang of thieves. Kurnaus asks, AJ, be honest with us here. Would you be playing this without the big sword girl? Well, it got my foot in the door. I don't know yet.
behind a big so rock. So forces at the Orlando Plains? <laughs> yes. We tried using them as decoys to cover my escape. But it seems the Imperial Army saw through our ruse. That little... Ugh, the stupid little wobble at the end of fucking syllables. Ugh. So they took out your guards and left you defenseless? Well, you do stand out. I doubt they were fooled for a minute. I see. Well, meeting up with the main army will help. It'll be faster if we take the jaws of the wolf. Jaws of the wolf? My question it's mark is me. Not many people go through there. That's why they won't be expecting us to do it. <laughs> Wait, Milanoris Isaac. <laughs> And yeah, the audio quality on these, despite the unexpectedly high quality of the voice work overall, man, this, the space constraints of the UMD are not great. <laughs> Commander, there's a force coming our way. See, like that, that sounded mostly okay. What? Oh, it's just that these we ran into yesterday. Yeah, see, the sibilance here isn't bad. It almost seems like different recording technique was used for... We're after a different, no and our troops. Okay, no, there it is. Bonds. Forget him. You want another ass whooping like yesterday? <laughs> but the ones following our girl were beaten by thieves. Maybe they kidnapped the princess for the reward. <laughs> Fine then. Fine then. I'm still sore from last time. But I guess we gotta do it. All right, <laughs> let's introduce ourselves. Don't let them get away. All right, so we're back to this again. <laughs> I had to actually make sure I turned off texture filtering for this shit so it wouldn't smear the hell out of the sprites. Because they are scaled correctly, it looks like, on the, um, on actual hardware. I'm interested if I'm looking okay here. All right. Weird that these aren't sorted by anything by default. Good job, Flunky. You figured it out. How'd they get here first? Those men. They're not of the regular army. They must be mercenaries working for Bronchia. See, that's not bad. It's just don't do the stupid little wobble thing the at the end of your sentences. Yesterday? You'd think they'd have learned by now. <laughs> you really don't have to convince right. me that this character Trash is out of their depth and kind of fragile. Through. Huh? They're not paid enough to die for Bronchia. You'll see. Is that the way of things? Either way, we have to get through here. <laughs> Which means a fight, whether they like it or not. Let's go! God, he's actually awesome. <laughs> okay, so what are we looking at here? Uh, shit, how do I check again? Okay, so this pain that stays here is a fly out. Commander is two all, everybody else is one two. Hmm. Whole fucking map is wasteland. I think this village here has something there. It's some kind of fucking material. And of course, Flunky has now gone to space, leaving us with only these two. And so. Alright, let's do this. That helps. So Yggdra's in the best position here to, uh... I guess Milanor has Wasteland advantage, but... Still swinging its sword, not great. Let's have her move. One, two, three, four. And then just have... All the remaining available space, I guess, goes here. Can't Union yet. I'm excited to get back to that, but... Back to that shit. I still kind of wish the advantage icons in the preview screen were colored in the same way that the uh, they're colored here. Alright, so the skill gauge is up. So we get aggressive and passive mode already. 
and it still does the music change stuff and everything. Oh yeah, there's probably be a uh, fast mode, huh? <laughs> okay. No, her, uh, her her battle chirps are pretty bad too. They're they're really not great. All right. So with that out of the way. Oh, nobody's swinging? Okay. I mean, like, I guess I'm fine with that. No wonder we'll get there eventually. Wait, shit. God damn it, I forgot this game does that with move orders. <laughs> I lost space because I moved somewhere and then moved back without canceling the order. Alright, Rage reintroduced again. Okay. The battle grunts are pretty bad. I mean, I realize it's because I got the f fucking thing fast forwarded, but still, you couldn't have reduced to their, uh... You couldn't have taken down the frequency a little bit while the fast forward option is on. Nobody swinging, huh? Alright. I'll take that. Who the hell are you? I'm Melanor, you goddamn piece of shit. Get out of your fucking house. <laughs> Alright, so you're still... Yeah, it's Sorties all the way up. Just feed the Sword Girl XP. This is how we do everything. Okay, yeah, I might have to turn these off. This is kind of ridiculous. Come on, can you just... Thank you. I don't want to go to the Japanese voices because I still like having story scenes dubbed, but... Holy. Uh, no options menu here, so I'd have to drop the title to do it. Hmm. Grumble. Yeah, there's an option for battle voices in the title screen, separate from, uh, event voices, but I'd have to drop all the way to title to do it. Actually, that's a good time to test whether the suspend works, isn't it? Let's do this. Alright, so, battle voices off. Then continue. Tool says, hi, MVP for this map is nine turns. Yeah, that can go fuck itself, actually. I don't really... <laughs> I've decided that I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, princess, but you're coming with me. Nah. Rumia says, oh yeah, remember to defeat the guy on top before the boss if it affects anything. It affects how long I spend here, I guess. So I suppose I could have gone out of my way to have the extra combat. Yeah, these screens are a little bit, still a little bit longer than I think they need to be, but overall the pace of the game seems to be a lot faster. Just set up the wall. I'll show you a real fight. Eh. Check Lux stats for his drop. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Uh, two, huh? Hey, what the fuck is rep? Oh, so I probably want to kill him with Milanor, huh? All right, that's unfortunate. We'll see what we'll see what this guy decides to do. Yep. The fact that you, like, the fact that enemy units go through that confirmation screen as well is really strange to me. Okay, wait, actually I'm gonna get trashed here, I think, so. Yeah, they're gonna rage and now it's super, super over. Uh, 
powerful. It says it tracks your streak of battle wins. Huh, okay. So now Yggdra's rep should reset to zero. Yep. All right. Time for you to get trashed, my man. Like, why does it have an animation before you can skip through it? I guess the answer is so you can look at the art. Hold this full bar red star, though. Actually get trashed on. Damn! You're no ordinary thief! <laughs> you still want to go at it? I'll remember this, punk. You just wait! I'm really angry. <laughs> Arcada asks, how's the PSP version? All right, it's... let's hurry onward. I mean, you can make that judgment for yourself. You're listening to it. Oh, okay. You know that thing you do when you remember some stupid shit that you did in, like, middle school? And you just kind of, like, spontaneously shrivel up into a ball on the spot. That's me listening to Yig just Lance half the time. Damn it, Soggy. Did he abandon his post again? Emotion. Seems he was defeated by a pack of thieves. That's the same person. <laughs> Some mercenary. You can't trust outsiders. Well, I guess we know what that means. It's time for Leon the Black Knight to get his hands dirty. Okay, that sounded way cooler when I didn't have to listen to it. I'm gonna be honest, dude. Yeah, the higher the higher resolution maps helps a lot, but I wish they were like more of them. A, a little bit of color would help a lot. A big... I don't know. Oh yeah, I should be letting these go, huh? That's General Leon, Melanor, they're Imperial Knights. See, that wasn't bad. That, that bad. wasn't bad. There's way too many of them. That sounded what? like somewhat what legitimate concern. Chariot, huh? <laughs> the fact that it actually makes you watch the AI do the menuing is amazing. Alright, so let's actually just get the absolute fuck out of here. The leather hat, okay. Goodbye. Right about here. Now! Oh, this doesn't get a real scene? Oh well. I've got your back, Milanor. Uh, huh? I don't know about that. What? <laughs> the, the explosion effect! That do it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sir Leon, the path has been blocked. Yeah, I can see we that. They blew up the bridge. Damn it! Rotten thief! Milinar wins. Who, who exactly was it that won? I'm having trouble keeping track. Anyway, cool hat. Lowers enemy attack to one while activated. Oh, okay. Normal. <laughs> This game is gonna get shitty cool as soon as skills come into play. <laughs> that woman, the one on the Griffin, is she an acquaintance of yours? Yeah. Why? Come on, let's hurry and find your army. Ah, uh, yes. Let us go. See, she's really not bad as long as the emotional overtones don't kick into overdrive. Ray says, love triangle alert. No, don't. Don't make me lean into the microphone again, young man. Melanor's old friend, Kilie, destroyed a key structure at the jaws of the wolf, which- Yeah, I was there. I watched it happen. Suit. Uh, kind Thanks of. Yggdra and the others were able to escape the Black Knight Leon and safely reach Orlando Place. <laughs> Ray says, I'm older than you. <laughs> Once there, 
They found the Listen. Royal Cavalry under attack by the Imperial Court Sorcerer, Yudi, with only Durant's unit remaining. Yeah, I, I don't know if they actually redrew any of the um, higher resolution art. Well, I, I say higher resolution in like the obligatory air quotes. The mixed resolution does kind of give off like, I don't know. That's actually, is it? Force? No, it's just. They're not looking so good. <laughs> yeah, Melanor, okay. I don't believe it. It was quite sizable before. Well, they won't hold out much longer. What's the plan? Boss, we're back! Congratulations. <laughs> so, I'm flunky. The, look out there? <laughs> the Royal Army is nearly sunk! But the 3rd Cavalry is still putting up a good fight! <laughs> Flunky's actually a golden retriever given a human body. <laughs> the 3rd Cavalry? That's Durant's unit! They're doing their best! But they're short on manpower. We might be able to help if we hustle. All right, all men to battle. We've got to get all there while two of them. still an army to meet. This is always like the abstraction associated with We're like surrounded. moving units in a tactics game has always kind of gotten to me. Like how many men? <laughs> We've got you now. Oh no. <laughs> you won't last forever, so you might as well give up now. Oh no. Oh. If you surrender, I'll spare your lives. Ah, the sibilance, it's bad. Surely you jest. A royal knight never surrenders. That's exactly what I expected you to we be. I'll give you one last chance to withdraw. <laughs> well, aren't we brave? Good luck. Hikari says, apparently Vic Mignana voiced all these knights. Any knight is voiced by him, apparently. Nice! Get them! Finish off what's left of the royal army. Chris says, what a PS1 voice. This does has, have kind of that feel, though. Like, especially given that the, um, the way the PSP soundtrack is arranged, it definitely kind of feels like, hey, so we just figured out that whole CD audio thing. That seems pretty cool. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything here other than, like, pick all my cards and then run in, so. Boss, the enemy can use magic. <laughs> Flunky is literally up, a fucking golden retriever. <laughs> if we don't join up with the royal army, we're in trouble. Refreshment. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, so knights are four now to, uh, there's still half of a main force that's just got changed to from six to eight in the PSP release. And thank god you can still speed up other phase fights. Trashed. No damage, though. All right, come on. All right, what are we doing? I forget whether there are items here. There's definitely uh, Operation Put the Knight on the Bridge. It's about to be in full effect. We have Lance, Sword, Sword. None of this is Wasteland except for, like, the tiles we fucking start on. Nice. So even Milanor with his fucking dis disaster stat block still has to respect weapon advantage. Hmm. Yeah, but he'll be uh Can I have him trash that lance and then body block somehow? No, horrible fucking positioning. Oh well. Alright, so we're gonna lose some fights. That's fine, I think. Oh, we're here again? Pick your targets with weapon affinity in mind. Oh, hey. Here we go. If you forget, open the menu with the L button and check weapon types. 
Magicians, huh? That's <laughs> Rods are both swords, spears, and axes. What the fuck? Wait, so magic users have weapon advantage versus everyone? <laughs> what in the absolute shit? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that I didn't pick up on. Good lord, okay. So... I guess we just have Milinor swing it. Like, how's, how is your fucking... You're 3150, you're 2501. So yeah, if anybody's gonna be taking damage here, I guess it ought to be you, huh? Tool says, magic users are weak as fuck to bows and bows are weak to all melee weapons. Huh, okay. Are you ready to get fucking starred? Starred like this is Puyo, Jesus Christ. Actually get trashed on. Oh, that was so close. How does how do morale calculations work? I'm actually a dumbass. Yeah, I figure maybe I should leave this up. Unless nah. It seems like unit types. Yeah, it's consistent who's holding what. I'll just need to use this as a reminder for a little while. I wonder if I can fast forward through this. Doesn't look like it. Uh oh, you're gonna get raged on, my man. You better finish it. There we go. So clearing out the lance is a little bit out of help, except that you don't gain XP yet because you're not part of the fucking army. I'm mad. All right, so how much do we need here for All right, your lance? So if I have Milinor swing in and then Yigdra take the spot, should be able to um, should be able to occupy next turn. Maybe not sure. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we can use a short card for this one. Go ahead and swing in, my man. He's basically done. At some point, I'm going to have to start saving those for, like, actually doing big loyalty damage to commanders. But for now, their movement property is pretty much the only relevant thing on them. I actually appreciate how that's all tied together. It forces you to make some really weird decisions, even pretty early in the game. And the overall interface flows a lot faster just because of the ability to fast forward combat natively. This is a winner for me, right? If she blocks, it definitely is, but I'm not sure about that otherwise. Okay, no, we still got big gen. Okay. But if this goes to rage, it's gonna suck ass. Oh yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Twill says, Silk Corset only blocks counters. Oh, so it's only one swinging in? Okay. Huh. That's important, actually. So yeah, let me see. Change. Block counter, yeah. And the bottom ability is always an item ability. Fort Smiley Face. So what's... Uh, what is the deal with the uh, greater than or less than symbols? Is that, an, is that a different type of advantage or just a different way of denoting it? Is there a fucking help dialogue I can use for this? No, but I can get a sick fucking wallpaper. Good against, bad against. All right, so the smiley face stuff is for terrain and then greater than I'm low. Okay, it's for elements and unit types, I guess. I don't know. All right, so you're a sword wielder. And you are... Oh wait, yeah, your girl fucking wins anything when swinging in, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Did I already select card? No. Okay. Yeah, so really all I need to do here is body block, and then next turn will be done. Which means 
because you just need to swing in. And then I can have Milinar block in the Lance. Fool says, fun fact, forts have a native 40% geo terrain defense bonus during morale calculations. Fort advantage gives an extra 10% to that geo bonus. Huh. Chris says, so is Yggdra being added to the anonymizer for car? Oh shit, I didn't kill because that card has low base morale. Well, that makes things slightly more complicated, doesn't it? Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, she's actually already in there, along with a couple other characters. I decided to expand beyond Sword Girls for the randomizer because it was getting a little bit... <laughs> I mean, not everyone can be honest, eh? Alright, so that's all we got for now. Oh, so you can speed up a little bit of the interface grind. Not stuff like the ready for combat dialogue, but... Oh man. Yggdra is getting trashed, this is going to be real bad. Can I at least get one more? There we go. Yeah, see, that's a little bit faster. That's good. So this is nearly the end of the segment anyway, so... Make sure I won't be able to move after swinging, unfortunately, but I can get her a little bit more XP. Yeah, being able to block the initial counter is fucking nutty. It feels like it basically guarantees a win when it happens right now. Even in this situation where we probably would have otherwise gotten trashed. Or at the very least, it would have been close. God, these fucking tiny ticks of XP. Yeah, my understanding is that all morale damage modifiers are um, additive because they're all um, factors based on the base morale. They're, they're, they're all additive factors based on the um, base morale of the card, or the base power of the card, so... Oh yeah, I do lose something kind of important when I turn off the uh, when I turn off the battle grunts, and that would be uh, I, I think this is the quote that will put in the uh, game suggestion form when I asked, "Hey, is there anything that anything else I should know about this? What does it fucking go? Justice something something holy sword? I don't know." Anyway, uh, yeah, this is over, so all I have to do is move into the space and the sub goal's done. Just to slice with the holy sword, thank you. Who are you? What do you mean, who are we? <laughs> We're here to save your bacon! <laughs> Help! Your allies? He doesn't sound I'm too Milano, excited about it. The leader of these lovable scamps. Who's your <laughs> aunt? <laughs> I am he, brave thief. What is it you ask of me? I'm here to return something you lost. What an asshole! What a samarmy asshole! Safe. You're safe. Holy shit, those These asses! These men saved me. It is good to see you unharmed as well. All right, so you. You listen to my fucking microphone, and even if I make a concerted effort to draw out the sibilant sounds of S's, it never gets anywhere near as bad as that. That I am. That's because I give a fuck. Have been somewhat thinned. What the fuck was that? <sighs> Fortunately, my pride as a royal knight has suffered no damage. You're very Princess, cool. This is for you. This is the White Phoenix, the Fantasinian flag. Oi. The White Phoenix stands for justice. You are the throne's sole heir. Like, holy King shit, did they? <laughs> yeah, the fuck it, just crank the highs and then compress the with YouTube to MP3. No big deal. Yeah, it, it's definitely part of it is the audio compression for sure. But this is something you can dodge to an extent even while using heavily compressed audio. It's just they didn't do it right. 
We are at your command. Man, it, it, it's just so blatant that I feel like somebody had to have, like, there had to have been some outstanding technical constraint. Like, I don't know, we can't write an Opus decoder for the PSP, are you kidding? But, what should I... You want what's yours? Then there's only one thing to do. I understand. To defeat the Empire that took our homes and families. To bring peace back to our kingdom of Fantasinia. I hereby form the Royal Liberation Army. They really used a UI sound for that? Alright. Long live the princess! Wait, where's the crowd supposed to be coming from? See, this I is my issue with the fucking unit abstraction. I my last. <laughs> okay. Bronchia has placed the blockade on Paltina, our capital. However, they have not yet attacked the eastern region. Twill says good sub sound. I've actually been thinking of randomizing them a little bit, but Streamlabs makes it such a pain in the ass. We should retreat to the east and regroup. Sounds about right. We're short on manpower. See, everyone is mixed differently. It's crazy. I understand. We shall make for the east then. Princess! The Imperial Army is giving chase! What is with this guy's fucking armor design? Their lead design, force is Yudi's sorceress unit. <laughs> hey, they don't make it easy for us, do they? Durant? Durant Durant? In order to safely advance east, we must attack our pursuers to prevent them from following. He's right. If there's enemies ahead, we could be caught in between. Very well. Let's engage them here. We okay, the, the sword page. above head pose is Good. pretty cute. That the way that sprite it is mad cute. They won't escape me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> I was so close. It wasn't for those meddling thieves. Magister, they seem to have taken refuge up ahead. I see. Hurry, everyone! If we let them escape, then it was all a waste of time! Yes, Magister! Jin says, probably in due in part to most Western VAs doing recording sessions separately. Yeah, for sure. It's like... Ha! You gotta Look imagine, like... How, how much how much of a commercial success was the GBA version of Vig Reunion? And then we're taking a niche tactical RPG and deciding, hey, you know what? Let's port this to the handheld that for some reason requires us to use fucking disc based media. And it also costs a hundred dollars more than the other competing handheld at the time. And then let's voice the whole thing like nobody. Nobody says that the fact that this game exists at all is weird. Their haste is their undoing. They couldn't stay together. Now's our chance. This should be a piece of cake. Esquire Milanor, please take care of the Esquire. princess. Esquire? I'll... No, I'll fight with you. Don't worry about her, Durant. She can handle herself. That's right. It'll Gekko says Volkaru voice acting. <laughs> the Blue Yeti is a $100 stainless steel toy. Very well. Please be careful, Prince. Thank you. But you need not worry. Um Alright. What are we doing here? This is the part where they uh, turn unions on, right? Okay, so there's no item there. I believe there is an item here, and I don't think there's an item there. There's the nut right above Durant. Oh, okay. Nut. Hikari says the PSP version managed to top out at ninth place in its first week with sales of 17,304. Huh. On the west side of the forest. Never eat soggy. Okay, the west side of the forest. There's another item. We'll figure it out. <laughs> So all we really need to do is move these guys into a fucking union, huh? Because, yeah, these two are already linked. So if I were to swing, it should be with uh, Axe Lance, meaning 
pull Yggdra out of the union, replace her with Milanor, and then have both swing, and then have Milanor move up to uh, kind of proactively link here. And if that sword fucks him up, that sword, can that sword fuck him up? One, two, two, one. It's like your Milanor is pretty swole. I don't think it's that much of an issue. Oh yeah, the knight's on a fucking bridge and I can't see the terrain for some reason, which is pretty cool. Oh no. All right, so Operation Put Durant on a Bridge continues again. <laughs> Bring the knight to Bergy Koki, sister and house. That, that's the real shit. So this again. We've already been through this particular tutorial, so we'll skip through. Oh, huh. They didn't explain this this no, they didn't explain this last time. That's interesting. Consecutive battles deplete squad members. Okay. So once you lose, you get taken out of the rotation, and once you've fought X number of times, you get taken out of the rotation, is the way I understand it working. I wonder if they've got a UI for this. So it's lined up like that. So we'll throw into Milanora winning here. The third item is right above the sword merc closest to you. So here? That is a sword, right? Okay. Correct. All right. This is kind of an obnoxious place to bother to put you, but hey, let's do it. Trap. Okay. Somebody found a fucking bear trap in a bush. Okay. Yeah, let's just pick this up and take it with us. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Yeah, that mirror art is distinctly unnerving. All right, so this should be a win. Yeah, even if you are raging. Wow, really? Whoa, okay. And nice, it actually explains this the moment it happens. That's a change from the GBA version that I really appreciate. All right, so they got absolutely trashed free and easy. That should be a fuck ton of morale damage, right? Yeah, nearly killed. Alright, no more, uh, we've got one more move left, and I'm not even sure why I would bother, to be perfectly honest, so let's just hang out. Yeah, the ability to speed that up is super nice. Okay, I'm... Yigger's not at disadvantage here, right? And yeah, we got the nut. Uh, equal attack and, uh... uh nah, she's gonna get trashed, actually. Not trashed free, but trashed. Oh, shit. Wait, they're in a union, so she's actually gonna get fucking destroyed! Oh, no! I got baited into that place with the item. And now she's really fucking banged up. Okay. That's super bad. Okay, these guys are pretty weak at the moment, so I think... Oh, hey, more? One more thing to consider in battle, huh? Oh yeah, this. Tuh. I actually show you the exact spot you get the item in the fucking scene there? Okay. Okay, so we gotta get Durant on a bridge. I don't think I have the move to uh, flip around and then... Yeah, it's blocked anyway, so. But with these two out of union. Hey, yeah, you're not union to the shit, so. 
I can at the very least move Milanor up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and then block Yudra so that eh, this guy's still going to be a pain in the rear. The last item is in the village south four squares. Yeah, I remember this one having an item. God, she's actually just going to get blasted for no reason if I leave her there, but I don't even know if I can... Okay, Imperial Army has is moving with move three, so all I have to do really is just pull her back this far. And then just swing again, right? I cannot wait until tactics meter and skills actually become a real thing. No remove with no move remaining may as well just uh your sword is so might actually want to unlink Milanor from this union. Yeah, let's do that. And then next turn we'll get the motherfucker onto a bridge. Yeah, and this is super free. I don't even have to use meter, but I totally can. And he moved up, which means... Alright, so I need two moves to get Milanor in position and just... Uh... Morale 1080. Alright, let's not take any chances and make sure that I'm swinging with something large then. And then... One, two to move Milanor and then one, two. Then Durant. Okay, so we need minimum seven and something with decent power. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's use Revolution. XD! We can use the extra move anyway to get Yggdra linked up. Yeah, because I'm stupid, I actually need to move, uh, I need to move you once further, one further space than I thought, so it's fine. Is it just me, or has some of this been color corrected as well? Seems a little bit less saturated than it was on the Game Boy. I'm not sure about that, though. Alright. Put the knight on the bridge. What are you gonna do? Alright, here we go. Operation Durant fucks the planet here. Durant is red starring people. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, okay, this might be bad. Actually, no, it might be completely fine. Wait, uh oh, that was really fast, Max. What the fuck? Wow. I actually thought I was fucked. That was a wild ride. Bull says Rage Bar carries over from fights. Oh no. Oh, this guy got a name? Okay. Probably because he dropped something. Alright, so. Now what? We move Yinger. One, two, three, four, five, six there. The witches won't move forward on their own, so. We can try to do the fucking luck switch around to get uh, the commander's item here, which is apparently fire attack up, so not really useful for anything except feeding to uh, poor banked up sword girl over here, who is at 1500 morale and kind of needs a little love. Well, says town is closed at night. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. You know what? Let's just go to a location. Do I even wanna... I don't want anyone but Milanor actually walking in range of these guys, but... 
Are they move? Do they move? Let's see. You might nab your medallion. Oh yeah, we probably should grab that, huh? Okay, so they're, <laughs> that's interesting. Just lined up a whole bunch of uh, female units into the wrong union formation, okay. So I guess we can just have Milanor swing this because yeah, Milanor fights everything and wins, I guess. Is that new art for the witch or did I just forget? It's something. There we go. Doesn't have quite the same flair as Fire Emblem animations for sure, but it's super cute nonetheless. So we get ourselves a fur coat, same as last time. Why would I move Durant off the bridge in this situation? Oh well, I'm sure nothing bad will come of this. Oh, you're swinging it. You're swinging a Milanor anyway, okay. Uh-oh, when I run into bar, I'm actually going to get trashed. Is it going to be enough? No, I got one left. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we've got options. We either... <laughs> We either set up on bridge made of bridge again, or we try to kite the commander back to uh, wasteland. Hmm. Not doing great on remaining cards. I've got one, two, three, four. Steel is sitting all the way in the back there. Let's just do that. Fuck it, actually. <laughs> Come, fight me. Wait, did Durant just fucking tell this commander, I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me? Fantastic. <laughs> wow! Get fucking... Dumpstered! <laughs> Commander of what? <laughs> Actually get fucking trashed. <laughs> Alright, we're breaking up the 1500 card. This is- this is over. This is like the next generation of over. Yeah, hold this three gen. Hold this three gen and literal bridge. <laughs> Magister Yudi. Where did you come from? You're supposed to be dead. I hate to do it, but we have to retreat. Goodbye. Oh, hey, we got a new flag. Because you know that actually happened. Princess, shall we give chase? Why? No time. Looks like another company's moving in. Okay. I forget what you were. Commander Agina. Oh yeah, Master, it's the bait Valkyries. <laughs> we were too late. They seem to be nothing more than a loose band of rabble. Destroy them, men. Charge! So you were pretty confident the last time, too. However, I regret to inform you well? that I have a horse on a bridge, and so your entire army is invalid. Probably. We should deal with them while we're at it. Venice says Wagner. <laughs> Let's show oh, no. So which one of these units has run up ADP? Yeah, what exactly do you think you're accomplishing here? This is run up ADP. <laughs> G 
get red starred by a fucking horse. <laughs> oh, hey, and you can actually skip that independent of the uh, fast forward as well. There's a lot of places where you're given input here where you previously weren't in the GBA version. This is an all right re-release, I think. All right, so the commander. What's the commander's item? Fire attack up again, huh? Tool says Durant has forest sad face. <laughs> For okay, road advantage, bridge advantage, for oh my goodness, that is the saddest face. That's not even sad, that's like angry. <laughs> Motherfucker is going around kicking trees. Fuck this thing. Anyway, so do we go for that item? I wonder. Flambeers. Well, it says, wait, why does he have an item with holy attack up? Oh, huh. Paladin Lance. Oh, it's because he's a fucking paladin, of course. That's, that's just what paladins do. Anyway, uh, I haven't even picked a card yet. Uh, let's just pick something low power almost completely at random. And have Milanor just sit in the fucking desert. <laughs> Yigtree, you won't be needed, I'm sorry. <laughs> Durant is gonna fight someone right there. <laughs> I really hope this fucker doesn't turn out to be a Jigen. That's free as hell. Yeah, look at how much of that you can actually skip now. Okay, so now we've got the opportunity to kite the commander back. So we're exactly where we need to be right now, I think. So do I just continue f telling Yggdra to fuck off? Just run away? <laughs> Your services are not required. Hikari says, I don't think Sting understands what a Jigen is. They give you units and you use them. See... We'll keep saying that bad resource management can create an unwinnable game state here, and I'm sitting here having fucking flashbacks of, uh, fucking FE8 all items runs. The Royal Army, I won't let you escape. Really, are you quite sure about that? I have some different ideas in mind, actually. <laughs> So, uh, where are you going? <laughs> Here we go! Bait taken! Let's go, Milanor! <laughs> what if this is really bad? <laughs> Wait, no, we're gonna be fine, okay. Easy. Easy street. All you have to do is ship that fucking enormous morale pool with the remaining cards, and... Rumia says, I thought Yggdra destroys them because of Null Holy. Yeah, but we want Milanor to land the finishing blow on the commander, because if you've got higher luck, it triggers the item drop, evidently. So now, I'm exactly where I feel like being, so we're just gonna hit him with the revolution. This is what we call strategery. Twill is quick to correct me. Greater than or equal to luck. Oh, bumped my mic stand because I'm super good at this. All right, so next swing should be it then. <laughs> That's the sound, really? <laughs> what a god. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, hey, I can skip that as well. Uh, or at least I think I can. It 
So Milanor trashes the fuck out of this commander twice now. Get deleted. Tons of XP too. The Valkyrie Aegina was annihilated. Trashed. How? They're not even real warriors. Scrub quotes X. Commander Aegina, it's dangerous to remain here. That is the same person. Very well. Withdraw. Or maybe it is. Oh, did I have to actually pick up that item? Okay, we got it from the spoils, okay. We're out here winning at video games, let's go. Fire damage to enemy burns them. Memo. Strength equals... Why tech... Okay, I'm going to assume that's your tech plus one minus enemy gen. And then your tech greater than or equal to enemy gen equals okay. Sure. <laughs> we made it. Well, says bottom refers to the debuff success. Okay. You're not bad with a sword, you know that? <laughs> How would you know that? Desperate. Still, we can chalk up the Liberation Army's first win. They put the horse on a bridge. Oh, Tactical genius. Let's use it well and get some distance between us and here. As you say. God, that crunchy fucking resolution. I still don't know what this visualization is doing in the game at all. So we got a world map, by the way. See, there's some colors in this one. We're making progress. After saving Durant, Yggdra's royal army raised its banners to smash a disorganized Imperial Army unit. The victory was only temporary, but the royal army's Imperial pursuers were forced to delay. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no. <laughs> Three subs from Envy to Rug, Frey, and Applebot. Nice RNG, my man. Cool fucking strat. Appreciate that, Envy. Enjoy your singular best emote on the planet, everyone. What is the robot gonna do with a subscription? I mean, I guess it looks good. Makes me look pretty cool. It's been a long trip. Where are we going anyway? Our destination is the sovereignty of Embelia. The sovereignty of what now? Embelia? What's that? Oh, okay. It's a nation our kingdom has long been friends with. I'm sure they will offer us their assistance. They might they might not do that. But first, princess, we have a more pressing task. Oh my goodness, Durant is making my teeth hurt. There are lookout stations at the border of the sovereignty. They are currently being used as supply bases by Bronchia. We must be ever vigilant as long as they're active. But if we burn them down. <laughs> Milanor! <laughs> they won't be able to chase after us. Precisely. The enemy has suffered major losses thanks to us. There shouldn't be many guards here at the moment. Nice. Now that sounds like a plan. Milanor is hyped up for arson. Let's go. Arson in East Orlando. The Royal Army is attacking. This post is our lifeline. We mustn't lose it. This one's got gold armor, so you know he's super, super yes, serious. Sir. Gain control of East Stronghold 1. Okay. Sword of Maiden, I'm into it. Alright, so we got some items now. Some of these may or may not need to be eaten so that Yggdred doesn't fucking die or explode. Holy shit, 4,000? Oh dear. Yeah, no, just... Just eat... <laughs> eat hat. <laughs> eat hat. Wow, that hat plus four gen? What the fuck? 
a medallion. It covers 20% of max morale, and they have no other purpose. Hmm, interesting. Twill says plus four is to the small stars. Oh, okay. So, what does that mean? Does it mean that the small star buff goes away and they de-level when the item uh, runs out of uses? Evade panic. Eat. Lock up. Huh. So this is not only supposed to be used as uh, recovery fodder, but it actually gives a bonus. Huh. Twill says, oh, eat items. Don't eat them. I'm sorry, what? Every time Twill tells me something about this game, my fucking brain just... <sighs> Twill says, you equip them and then take a step with them on the map, then they actually eat the item. What the fuck? What do you mean? Ah, uh, this is stupid. Alright, well I guess you kind of have to do this, huh? Huntsman's Snare, so that's a use item, probably. Fire attack up. Instant charge. <laughs> oh, wow. Plus two, plus two, plus two. Twill says, eat is just the term I use. It's more in-universe mor morale recovery to say gifting or something. Oh, yeah, because they got a nice hat, so their will to uh, fight goes up a little bit. Which is good. Phrases. Florida man sets fire to bridge in East Orlando. <laughs> Claims pursuit by Imperial troops. Where's Isaac? Florida man's a heroic spirit. And of course, wait. So because of the way these are implemented, it means that if you want to actually give someone the stat boost, they have to go without an item for an entire um, battle, right? says eat luck up will push your luck to the next star regardless of your progress okay so best to use right after a level when you're fresh to get maximum value man this game's fucked up and stupid okay okay i don't think i actually need to touch anything here so I have the option to use eight cards here, but I finally have more than eight cards. Is this where they introduce skills to me? Am I gonna care? Can I just pick everything with like super high move and... Wait, no, I have to pick everything with the highest values because we have to go face. Twill says skills are one more map, I think. Wow. Yeah, Mirage's 1680 seems like too much to pass up on. Let's do that and then take, like, my... Yeah, Mind Change and Mirage, probably. So it says concentrate on move for this map. Yeah, the difference between the difference in move between something like Mirage and Rockfall compared to the difference in power. No contest. All right, pretty compact map again. I wonder how fucked up endgame maps get. Stations. Defeat the soldiers inside, then burn the supplies. It says item recon for this map. I appreciate having a little bit of help on hand for these because completely unmarked item searching bullshit. It's like, what if every chapter was the stupid fucking Nevada desert nonsense? <laughs> Why are we like that? Well, it says four leaf clover. There is a low chance of getting this item every time Yggdra steps onto a grass square through Battlefield 4. Are you shitting me? Why is it like that? <laughs> so we got a bridge, got a village. I don't know what that is in another, another village. And then Geo is native, uh, it's just morale defense, right? 
MVP for this map is 18 turns. That's not gonna happen, I think. But we can try. All I have to do is stand on one of the fucking forts in here. Ah, but that, that fucking Geo is so strong. Plus, knights have native uh, fort advantage, right? Now it's road and bridge. All the sentries have void alack. So how do I go about approaching this then? Sword, 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 lance. So Durant is unsurprisingly at a pretty hefty advantage, and then given the way the form okay, what is what is the enemy move? Enemy move is six, so. They can definitely still engineer a situation where a sword is swinging at Durant unless I body block. Actually. I don't know if the AI is smart enough to do that, but I can put Yggdra here and like Yggdra here and Durant there and maybe have Milanor and the Union while still being safe. I don't know. Yeah, also Yggdra has four advantage. That's a good point, so. Hmm. So if we can occupy the fort and then Yggdra just absolutely eats XP, that's clearly ideal. Do any of these villages have items? Ah, jeez. I guess we'll figure it out. All right. Let's roll out. This is really all that's important right now anyway, isn't it? I wonder how aggressive they are. We'll see. I might eat a lot of shit here. This is fine, though. In fact, he even stepped off. He went to the trouble to stepping of stepping bleh, of stepping off the fort. Holy shit. How does English? That's a fuck ton of morale, though. Oh, wait, you were. Oh, shit, you were linked. Whoops. Enormous mistakes were made, actually. Yeah, max carrying over is a huge, huge bit. Fucking ginormous deal. Okay, at the very least, though. I think the idea here is just to swing in with Durant again. Oh, wait, that's a big union, though, so I have to move Yggdra first to make sure that they're not linked. And just swing in here and then have Yggdra take the fort. Alright. And so now with the remaining move... Oh wait, we're still doing this, huh? He might be fine too, is the funny thing. Like, there's a decent chance this goes okay. Oh yeah, why are we putting Yggdra on the fort when Durant's probably fine? Okay, so everybody's taking morale scratch damage there. I think Durant is probably not gonna... Wait, wow. Holy shit. Alright, so let's at least give Yggdra a chance to fucking swing. Jesus. Yeah, she's falling behind. Level one. Ugh. So let's at least take some space here. At Lance disadvantage there could be kind of messy, but... Eh, she's got good stats and Ford advantage should probably protect her. Plus Durant. Ugh. She's union with Durant, but Durant is not union with her. This game is fucked up. Do I move forward to break the union and make sure that... No, but I want her in the Union, so that she actually gets a chance to uh, fight if something tries to fucking chain fight Durant. Okay. This is good, because if something swings at Yggdra, it's only swinging at Yggdra, but if something is swinging at Durant, it's swinging at Durant and Yggdra. Okay. God, video games. Okay, what's in here? Probably nothing. I have 
have been using the battle predictions? The winners are those who grasp their weapons and abilities. <sighs> Fire Emblem's really good at marking fucking help text uh, villages from actual human villages that you want to visit. This game could learn a thing from that. Alright. Yeah, this should be free, hopefully. She might have problems during uh, Max for the next fight, but hopefully not. Wow, absolutely zero morale damage, okay. Yeah, if they're starting in Max, this could get a little messy. I think we're just barely fine. Yeah, I think we're just barely fine here. I guess the more battles I can drag this out for, the better, huh? What a good fanfare, really. So is this... Hold on, let me check conditions again. Move an ally to East Stronghold 1. Okay, so one of these fuckers is on top of it probably, right? Unless I'm really stupid and missing something. That does look like a map icon. <laughs> I wish I could sort cards here, or at least like take out the ones that I've already used. So I just want to swing in here for sure. Extra XP for our Sword Maiden. Nope. Maybe I will turn the battle grunts back on. I don't know. That's a really solid fuck off menu noise. It's like, no, idiot. Someone left a book lying around. Huh. Seems to be a volume on war tactics. And this is blocked off? Huh. Interesting. So I can't get there. How then? Unless I have to clear out the fort and then that opens. Like, we take up the gate or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm a huge dumbass. I can't tell. I'm never sure. Okay, so you're... Yeah, you're Lance, so it could be bad for Yggdra, maybe. I'm not sure. So if the if the if whatever you, Twill is using for uh, an item guide is potentially wrong here, then I may as well visit this village and see if it's got something in it. Oh, wait, it's nighttime. Shit, that was useless. Oh, and you must be guarding because you didn't move. All right, so let's blow this guy out of the water. Can you move up, Milanor? Not quite. So I think Durant would probably be better off. Uh, maybe unioned with Yggdra? Okay, let's do this. If you want the station, you'll have to get through us. Oh hey, and we get both, uh, both conversations here. Let's do this. Hopefully this is enough to uh, trash him in one round here. Really high base damage card plus two swings. Well says Yegdra actually has a better 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 battle prediction than Durant here. Yeah. Hey, would you look at that? 
Of course, all bets are off in Max. So. Not quite, though. Man, it's kind of wild <laughs> how much damage enemy unit can actually do well in Max, though. What a good fanfare. Oh, so we miss out on a uh, conversation, unfortunately, if two units are participating at the same time. It's kind of lame. Milanar makes a completely useless move for no reason. This should be free again. Maybe not. Ooh. Oh, no, it's fine. God, I'm actually really bad at judging battle results. <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah, no, I was bad at judging battle results like 20 different times. I got it wrong in my head at least eight times and then got it wrong for real. Oh, shit. I actually didn't mean to pick that card, but okay. And I still block the counter here, so this is fine. And it should finish it, right? Come on. You'll get there. Oh god, he's still got so much fucking life. What the fuck is this? This guy's tanky as hell. I really needed to be in a union, huh? Yeah, because of the fucking Geo Defense bonus. Yeah. Shit. Hey, what's going on here? <sighs> You're not helpful, I'm sorry. So I've definitely missed MVP so far here, right? Like, there's no way I'm getting away with it. Why are they so strong? Okay, there we go. I hope I eventually get something to disla displace people off tiles, because this is super irritating. Alright, we're going in with maximum. I'm just gonna fucking swing for the heavens. Maybe I should have connected Durant at any point during this. Nah, Durant will be fine. Oh, wait, what do I mean? Should have connected Milanor. Yeah, Milanor's gonna be fine. Milanor is like super strong for no reason, so we'll be alright. We're out here skipping text. And a medallion. And hey. One down. <laughs> he just lights it on fire. <laughs> Good. The supplies here have been burnt to a crisp. Weren't you going on about the, the horrors of war like five seconds ago? Uh-oh. Commander, the royal army is heading this way. What? What happened to all the others? Well, you see, we killed all of them and then burned their homes. Will says, okay, there's an imperial army book in each fort. Is that the next one? All right, let's get to it. Splend Splendid. I think we're so excited to be committing war crimes. What the fuck? All right, so let's deal with you guys. All axes, huh? <laughs> well, we know what that means. Where's Milanor? <laughs> Just fucking run up and fight all of them, honestly. Maybe... Shit, move orders in this game are hard. We'll do this. This is a... Uh... Of Igdra, connect with him here. And then we'll make useless nothing moves hoping for a four leaf clover. Okay, so they don't move at all. They're all defending, not just that one. Makes sense. Okay, so it's hard for me to connect here while still swinging, but. They're here already? Yeah, bitch. 
Alright, so this means we'll connect with uh, Lance and then Axe, which means you're in a perfect position, provided we actually do enough morale damage, which we won't because this guy's got 2470 into Geo bonus. But hey, on account for something, right? We'll just put Durant here because. Well, you put Durant in place as it's what's done. Okay, that was more damage than I expected, probably, because that was such a thorough blowout. And this should be a blowout of similar margin, honestly. Ah, uh, not quite. This guy's swinging pretty hard. Max is kind of broken. How's that? Where are the reinforcements? Well, you see, we killed all of them and then burnt their homes. I don't know if you missed that the first time, but just in case you were wondering. All right, should be fine just staying union to like this. So. I think draw and block, which might prove to be an issue, but hopefully this is enough of a blowout that it doesn't matter. Eventually we'll get her onto the fucking fort and then the real shenanigans begin. Yeah, still winning even versus max. So. Battle predictions do take into account the max bonus, right? I certainly hope they do. Alright, can we get her on there now? I think I have to... I've got to make some space first. I've got to kill either one of these. You're definitely hurting a bit more. Wait, no. Neither of you have been damaged. And I can't just bust my way through because what's a diagonal move? So I've got to take something that's super busted and fucked up and just absolutely trash. Just like mercilessly destroy one of these axe units with a high power card. We need maximum like three moves to get into position, then four, five, six for Yggdra to actually get on. Let's take the highest power card we got with more than six move. Which turns out... Wait, did I see more than six? One, two, three, four. Okay, we're fine. In that case, this might be overkill, but... Mind change should be fine. Yeah, so we'll connect like this. He's unioned, though, so this probably won't. I really need Milanor to one-shot, but he probably won't. I don't know, this is pretty good. Six to one, five to one. Come on, let's see it. Ah. Maybe if I had Durant and then you know, it would have cycled back around. Yeah, that's probably the strat, isn't it? Okay. Starting to slowly wrap my head around this stupid nonsense. Yeah, it would have cycled back around and killed on the return, but I didn't have a way of linking up anyway. Wait, no, I totally did. Horror! Tactics are hard, guys. Ah. Uh, I guess I just union now and kind of hang out for a bit. Interesting of you to swing like that. God, the fast animations are so good. And yes, I wonder if Victor could have killed the axe because of counter block. She probably would have been fine. Like, as long as she's the one swinging. Seems kind of hard for her to lose fights. So. So we're slowly getting things back into balance. So you're at 699. 
There's a book somewhere in the fort, so we need a couple moves just to make sure. Wait, this is actually, yeah, I'll I'll complete the sub-objective pretty fast, so it doesn't really matter. Just as long as you're linked with Yggdra when the time comes, huh? Too bad I can't make heads or tails of it. All right, so we found the item. So now we link up. We won't leave until this fortress is raised. Holy shit, why are you so aggressive? Frey says, so he's illiterate. Not necessarily. Could just be that he's not overly tactically minded. He's illiterate. <laughs> Twill confirms Nolimar cannot fucking read. Who needs to read with that three attack, though? Alright, destroyed. And then with our two remaining move, finish the sub goal here. All right, do we have one more That's to go? Two for two. <laughs> burn, baby, burn! Milanor. <laughs> Princess, only one depot remains. <laughs> the heat is on. Milanor. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> the royal army is here. Let's head them off. We must protect this place at all costs. They take this depot. The Eastern Front is a lost cause. All right, so this time we're meeting archers, huh? Last one. Let's give them everything we've got. You really are anime, huh? <laughs> Milanor, hobbies, stealing things, arson. Well, there's, there's an item one north one square of the barricade to the southwest of the fort. Okay, so here. Gotcha. So how do we set up for this? You are okay. One lance and then three archers. I assume they're neutral versus melee uh, when swinging or something. Are they just weak always? I have no idea how fucking weapon triangle works. So. I'm taking random guesses. Okay, so I gotta get all the way up there, huh? And it seems to me like the way of handling this. Is 12 moving off? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh, not even close, yeah, no way. Can't get him in position and still be unioned. It's probably fine though, because he's fucking axe, and also because these guys won't move. Unless bows are like 1 3 or something in this game. Mermia says archers can't counter or be countered. Okay. Well. This is interesting. Okay, let's just. Fuck it, let's move up. Eh? Hmm. No item there, huh? Try the other barricade. Well, let's see. There's a village here, but, uh, obviously. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna get weird. Fortunately, we're not losing a whole lot of time. I think I'm already out of range of MVP. <laughs> it's morning again. Can I just... Okay, so I can't just... I have to actually process a move order to do that. That's kind of stupid. You will wander? I was thinking of doing that too. Life's pretty rough here. Here, have something for the road. Goat milk. Yay! How cool. Alright, so if I'm swinging in, then this guy's unioned with the archers, and I'll get a free swing on them as well, right? But in return, the archers just trash me afterwards. Ugh. That's 
kind of messy. And there's no way for, to, for me to move the attacking unit out of position. All I can do is break the union. Interdesting indeed. Well, if I move up here, you can just already actually union with Milanor. Which means she'll take the hit. Which is really not what I want. Uh, 3242, 3685. And yeah, I think they're defending Venice. It says maybe they have a threshold slash line you have to pass before they start moving. My guess is that they're defending, so I can just set up and try to like blow out even blow out one of the archers in the back with a uh, three union or something since if I'm swinging then uh, I don't know though this guy's the garrison captain is up front so I think what I'd have to do is actually swing with Yggdra here and then union Milanor and Durant along the uh, vertical here to kill or potentially kill both of these archers. They're low morale, so even the Geo bonus will probably kill the first one. So let's start moving up, I guess. So I'll take something with low move and high power. One, two, three. Ah, oh, shit. We done fucked it up. Oh, well, we can still do the super union. Just can't be on an archer. Ah, uh, bad start. One more book somewhere in this fort. Yeah. One, two. Shit. I always get movement one off. How bad is Milanor going to be in this anyway? Like, what's the battle prediction if I just... Because I'm going to move him here anyway, so let's check the battle prediction. Oh, we got circles, okay. Oh, wait, but you're fucking diagonal, so wait, no, this is... God damn it, I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, well. Let's just do this and see what happens. Haven't quite uh, figured out this whole strategery thing yet. Is it going to be a six? Wow. Get absolutely trashed. Decent chunk of morale, too. So next turn, I guess we do the Super Union. Which means probably moving Yggdor back here. Oh wait, no, you're just gonna... You're gonna commit suicide, I guess. That's fine, I suppose. Uh-oh. That's real bad, Scoob. Oh yeah, we're gonna get trashed. Oh, hey, it's my voice on the television. Yeah, that counter hurt pretty hard, but I think we'll be fine. This one guy just doing fire emblem arrow spins. Seems good, dude. Dude, I hear my voice on the TV and all the first thing I think of is just, wow, I must have fucked up my audio routing real bad this time. <laughs> like, how badly did I do it? Okay, so we got an archer down in the back. This guy is super obnoxiously low morale. Actually, not even yet. Ah. Yeah, let, let's just super union and trash this guy. Fuck it. Super Union, trash him, and then get Yggdra on the fucking, uh... Because I do have to actually move on to the space before. 
yeah, I've got to move on to the space that ends the sub goal before they burn the fort. So I'll, no matter what order I do this in, even if I kill all three, I'll have time to search for the book before completing afterwards. So actually, does that mean I do super union right now and just trash one of these archers? 1500, so. And this guy won't move if I can one shot. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see how this works since I've got a feeling about it. What do we need? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what the book does. But clearly it's important for us to have it because we can miss it. Wow, this is even? Huh. Wild. So, large unions to fucking trash archers. This seems like an alright strategy. Now we're even, so this should pull through. Yeah. Perfect. Everybody gets a little bit of a tick of XP. I can just leave this where it's at, honestly. Maybe I should have... Yeah, I probably should have hooked somebody up with uh, Milanor here. Oh, well. This was never really a low turn count run anyway. And yeah, the... Kuro asks, is it just me or are the sped up versions of Battle Song slightly different? They definitely are. There's definitely uh, a little bit of a variation in the arrangement. I don't know why I picked that. Here's our book. And then you are Lance, but I think Yngdra has a good battle estimation against you anyway. Yeah, that's not terrible. So yeah, let's fucking swing in on this guy. Is this gonna be what? Five to one? You're gonna get one more and then... Yeah. Oh, wow. Actually got half the group. My bot is just going nuts in chat. Markov chains are a powerful thing. Why is Milanor actually the strongest being on the entire planet? Like, this is kind of ridiculous. Oh! Get the commander in the... Well, shit. Took me an awfully long time to figure that one out, huh? I'm kind of a dumbass. We did it! And now we fucking burn this. Rido says, bold of you to assume Orlando is a planet. <laughs> the planet Orlando. What is... <laughs> so if it's a globe, what do we mean by East Orlando? We smashed all the fortresses. Yes, Milanor, I was there for it. That's... that's all of them? Nigdra actually can't count. Makes her a nice pair for Milanor who cannot read. Obtained items, who fucking knows? What do you mean receive no damage when activated? Excuse me? Okay. Excellent work, Princess. This should prevent the Empire from operating in the East. We no longer have to fear attacks from Orlando. Okay, so if Orlando is the, the planet, then this is interplanetary warfare? Okay. Yes, 
guess I'd like to save. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. Okay. How neat. All right. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my voice is feeling real fucking scratchy right now. It's pretty bad. So, I'm going to peace out for now. We're at least uh, back up to where we stopped in the GBA version plus one chapter. So, the next time I put this up should be entirely new content, TM. I should have leaned into the microphone for the word content. So, yeah. I think the PSP version is... I don't know if I'd call it a major upgrade, but it's definitely a lot cozier as much as I like the idea of the uh, GBA version and I can respect it for trying to cram so much stupid bullshit onto the smallest screen imaginable. PSP version's definitely been a little bit better of a play experience if for no other reason than the battle pace being a little bit quicker. So I'll be sticking with this and Probably at least seeing it through to like where all the mechanics start working together. I want to at least see fucking skills for a couple chapters. I have, I am worried that the game becomes stupid Kuso bullshit when skills come into play because they all seem ridiculously stupid and strong, but uh, hey, we'll see. I think that's the way I make this work is that if I start playing single player games, I can't promise to finish any of them because then, then it becomes the blade held over me. It's like, oh no, I have to fucking finish Egg Reunion. <clears throat> so instead, I'm just gonna, I don't know. It's not like this is a particular change of plans, but I think I'm just gonna do what I do. And I hope that's enjoyable to at least some of you. Anyway, I'm gonna nurse my voice for a little bit. Good night. See?